And yesterday, the non-runner, Belvederian in the colours of Tony O'Reilly, Conor O'Dwyer number two. Three is Idiot's Venture, Aidan O'Brien trains, Charlie Swan, the champion on board. Dunwoody rides number four, Johnny set aside a lovely young horse, Noel Mead trains. King of the Gales, Arthur Moores, is ridden by Franny Woods. Son of War, the Grey, ridden by Alton Smith. McAllister, Victor Bowens trains, his son Brian rides. Opera Hat, the only mare in the race, is ridden by Anthony Powell for John Fowler. Let's take a check on the market. Well, uh, the betting shows us that Johnny set aside, although drifting is still favourite. Idiot's venture has been backed to five to two. Seven to two and on the drift, the mayor, Opera Hat, Belvederian is eight to one from an opening price of six and a half. And uh, you can see they're well on the way. Fences and Johnny set aside up there with Son of War and Opera Hat. Opera Hat on the inside. Johnny set aside, Son of War in third, and then McAllister. Idiot's Venture is next, Belvederian and uh, King of the Gales in the red colours, yellow cap at the back as they come now towards the second, the first of the ditches. Johnny set aside, Richard Unwoody. Dark cap on the near side, Opera Hat, and they're followed by Son of War. Idiot's Venture and Belvederian as they go towards fence number three. Johnny set aside and Opera Hat. Opera Hat with a slight advantage into the fence. Jumps at uh, length and a half in front. Johnny set aside second, then Son of War in the grey, followed by Idiot's Venture, Belvederian, McAllister, and back at the tail of the field is King of the Gales. On towards the fourth, and Opera Hat and Johnny set aside. Opera Hat the leader, Johnny set aside. Three lengths away, Son of War. Idiot's Venture is next with Belvederian, McAllister, and back at the tail of the field, King of the Gales, as they go down now towards fence number five, the second ditch. Opera Hat, Anthony Powell, showing just ahead of Johnny Set-Aside and Richard Unwoody, then Son of War and Idiot's Venture. Belvederian a little slow, passed in the air by King of the Gales, and uh, also by McAllister as they run around to face the sixth. Opera Hat the Mare in the lead, Johnny set aside in second, Son of War four lengths back. Then Idiot's Venture with the broad white face and Opera Hat uh, mistake there, but still leads. Johnny set aside, Son of War in third, and then Idiot's Venture and they're followed by King of the Gales as they make the turn into the straight and head towards fence number seven in the Ericsson Chase. First prize of £32,500 awaiting the winner. Opera Hat leads them. To the seventh from Johnny Set Aside, Son of War, Idiot's Venture with a white face on the right. And the noseband of uh, King of the Gales on the inside of King of the Gales, McAllister left the picture, Belvederian in the hoops. As they come up now to pass the stands, a long run to fence number eight. Opera Hat, Johnny Set Aside within a length, and then a four length break to Idiot's Venture showing third in front of Son of War and McAllister. There are leaders, Opera Hat. Anthony Powell, Johnny set aside Richard Dunwoody. A pair of them five to six lengths in front of Idiot's Venture and Son of War together. And closely grouped behind them, McAllister, King of the Gales and Belvedereian. As they run up towards the eighth, Opera Hat on the right of the picture. Johnny set aside in second. They jump it together, Idiot's Venture Jumped a little to the right, shows third ahead of Son of War, Belvederian on the extreme left, then McAllister right of the picture, Brian Bones with the yellow sleeves, and uh, King of the Gales and Francis Woods at the back. As they go over fence number nine, Johnny set aside, and Opera Hat dispute the lead. Five lengths clear of Idiot's Venture as they begin the long sweeping turn into the back straight. Opera Hat on the inside of Johnny set aside. A pair of them. About eight lengths clear of Idiot's Venture. Belvederian shows fourth. McAllister next on the inside of King of the Gales and Son of War has dropped towards the rear. Facing fence number 10, and the first down the far side. Opera Hat and Johnny set aside. The pair of them are clear by upwards of 10 lengths now from uh, Idiot's Venture. McAllister four. Then comes King of the Gales. Belvederian jumped it slowly, lost a few places, and Son of War pushed along at the tail of the field. Seven fences left to jump. As they come to the next plane, one Opera Hat leads Johnny set aside by half a length, and they're cleared of Idiot's Venture.
Opera hat, Johnny set aside, stride for stride, Johnny set aside away, and Idiot's Venture's gone. Idiot's Venture hit it very hard and unshipped uh, Charlie Swan, leaves uh, King of the Gales in third, and then Belvedereian McAllister and back at the tail of the field, Son of War. But the two leaders showing no signs of coming back to the field as they jump this ditch and a better jump by Johnny set aside. Opera hat got in close. They're clear of Belvedereian third, King of the Gales four, McAllister quite a bad mistake, and Son of War in rear. As they go now towards the next fence, and Johnny set aside again out jumps Opera Hat, and they're a long way clear of Belvedereian, who makes a dreadful blunder there and uh, loses third place to King of the Gales. A long way back to Son of War and McAllister as they go towards the fourth last. Opera Hat has gone back up on the inside to show just ahead of Johnny set aside, who again. Uh, jumps it slightly the better and they're a long way clear of King of the Gales and Belvedereian as they go now towards the final ditch the uh, third last fence in the Ericsson chase and Opera Hat and Anthony Powell half a length up on Johnny set aside Richard Nunwoody and the pair of them they've dominated the race and they're a long way clear 15 lengths or more in front of King of the Gales Opera Hat Johnny set aside Opera Hat half a length Johnny set aside second they're clear of King of the Gales a long way back to Belvedereian in fourth as they turn to face the second last now it's Opera Hat and Anthony Powell with Johnny set aside alongside and the two of them have it between them clear of King of the Gales as they come now to the second last fence and Johnny set aside jumps to the front from Opera Hat they're clear of King of the Gales in third as they race towards the home turn and Johnny set aside has opened up and gone three four clear of Opera Hat it's over a dozen lengths back to King of the Gales in third as they run towards the final fence now in the Ericsson chase and it's Johnny set aside and Richard Dunwoody with Opera Hat trying to rally on the near side and King of the Gales staying on behind them in third a long way back to Belvedereian Johnny set aside Opera Hat still very much in contention and King of the Gales is closing too over the last Johnny set aside another good jump leads up the run in King of the Gales putting in a run on the near side and they're followed by Opera Hat three a long way back to Belvedereian but Johnny set aside driven out by Richard Dunwoody King of the Gales closing under Franny Woods as they race up towards the line Johnny set aside King of the Gales gaining all the time but Johnny set aside holding him as they go to the line Johnny set aside wins the Ericsson King of the Gales a good run for second Opera Hat fades to third Belvedereian is fourth and they're followed in by Son of War and behind uh, Son of War is uh, McAllister so Johnny set aside the two to one favourite owned by John O'Mara trained by Noel Mead and ridden by Richard Dunwoody has won the Ericsson to one favourite in the end King of the Gales was 16 to one in second place and Opera Hat the Mayor was a game third at three and a half 